Up next, we have the CC Update. Woo! This is a segment of the show where we talk about what is happening in the Cartridge Club, mm. uh, in the community itself, uh, on the website, on the forums, and with the other channels that contribute to the club. Yep. So this week we're going to start off, uh, it is the first show of August, so we're happy to announce the August game of the month is the indie platform smash hit by Yacht Club Games, Shovel Knight. It's amazing, man. It I, is a lot of fun. I guess it's probably already out there. I beat yeah. it. I sat down and I beat it. Yeah. <laughs> like, I couldn't stop playing it. It was I, uh, so good. This is the first club game that I've beaten in a very long time, and it's it's... They, I beat it on the third, I think. So nice. <laughs> uh, seven hours, twenty-seven minutes for me play time. Yeah. The, the game it harkens back to the glory days of the NES, uh, and it is fantastic. I it cannot wait to talk about this. We've got three great guests lined up. Yeah. But uh, so that being said, hop over to the forums at www.cartridgeclub.ca and tell us Definitely. if you've played it. Definitely. Did you like it? Dot org, not dot ca. <laughs> We're on a new site. New site. We're um, on. Yeah, let, let us, us know. know. Yeah. Favorite bosses, favorite music, favorite stages, favorite weapons. Yeah. Uh, have you played the Plague Knight DLC? I Are you did. looking forward to the Spectre Knight DLC? What about Yacht Club Games giving away free DLC? Who does that? That's crazy. <laughs> what are they, Nintendo? What? Wait. Uh, all right, so uh, <laughs> Shovel Knight is the August game of the month. We're playing it all month. We're streaming it on Wednesdays. We're talking about it. We're tweeting about it. Uh, hashtag Shovel Knight. Hashtag Cartridge Club. Yeah, man. Also, uh, we got some member news. We have reached, recently reached 150 members in 13 different countries. Wow. Yeah, that's crazy. We are global. So uh, how do we know where the members live? Well, that's easy. Uh, if you go uh, to Where in the World over on the Cartridge Club uh, website, you can actually drop a pin where you live to help us track where all the members are. Not specifically your address. We're not coming to find you. Uh, well, maybe you, Donnie. I am maybe coming to find you. We're coming. But uh, go on there, drop your pin, let us know where you live so we can help track that. Keep an eye on how many people we have. It's pretty cool seeing that they were on that map. It's, pretty it's crazy. Uh, my mind all over the world. Somebody in Japan is a member of the Cartridge Club. Grand Fox? Who? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, as well, I want to say uh, a huge welcome to a brand new Cartridge Club member. Uh, NJ Retro, which I assume stands for New Jersey Retro. Seems likely. Yeah. Uh, he, uh, he's been watching the Cartridge Club content for a long time. But he's only recently uh, braved into the forms. So uh, he's new to Twitter. He's new to YouTube. So I want everybody to give NJ Retro a huge welcome to the family. Uh, you have come to the best community on the internet to hang out in, my friend. And we're definitely looking forward to hearing from you on the forums and on Twitter. So everybody make sure you uh, you shoot him a follow. You shoot him a, a, a like. Mm -hmm. And check out his YouTube channel. I'm surprised that he is new to the community. Because he is so active that you wouldn't even know he's new. He's, like, yeah. he's very active. <laughs> He's okay. easily the coolest member of the Cartridge Club from New Jersey. Wait, isn't Rambox from... Who? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so as well, uh, that's it for member news, but we have some content news. Um, the incorrigible J-Rock the Game Rocker mm -hmm. has uh, returned to his weekly upload schedule. He's back. People who are familiar with J-Rock, they know that he used to do a weekly Monday upload called uh, Between a Rock and a Hard Place. And they, it. they started off as a maximum 10-minute... Uh, update show blog about his life in gaming that week, yep. and they uh, quickly spiraled out of control into thirty-minute sprawling videos of him <laughs> talking about whatever the fuck he wants. I remember watching him drink eggnog, yeah, you know, relax him. It was a good time. Yeah. Now, then he turned it into quite a show by the end. Like you could actually see the evolution. It's a Wayne's World esque romp. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. I like it. <laughs> so J Rock is now uh, moving to a new time slot on Thursdays. Every Thursday, he's going to upload a new video. Uh, at the time of this recording, he'll have two of them up for that new cycle, but uh, right now you can check out his video uh, from the Adams family, uh, him and his uh, sister playing it, which is kind of an apt game for, for him and his sister to play. <laughs> I never thought of that. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, as well, there's a new Bonus Barrel podcast, there's a new STC podcast uploaded, and a new In the Q Dog House. Uh, all great shows. A lot going on, Don't man. Don't miss those. If you're not sure what days to check these out on, check the event calendar at www.cartridgeclub.org, mm -hmm. and they're happy to tell you. But it's Bonus Barrel Mondays, Q-Dogs Tuesdays, SEC, SEC Pod Fridays. Wow. I haven't heard the latest SEC Pod. The one that's tomorrow? No, yesterday's. Oh, I heard Last it. Friday's. Because I... Uh, we learned I, a lot about Bill. See, I try to listen to the show when I'm at the gym, but lately I've been going with Colleen, so my gym time has been shortened to like a half an hour on the treadmill, uh, and then I'm doing weights with her. 
Uh, so she likes to take the headphones off and actually talk to each other at that part. So I don't get a chance to listen to the podcast as much. You know what I mean? Uh, so I am behind on that, and I can't wait to hear it. Was there anything good? We learned a lot about Bill. Yeah, a lot of Q and A from the from the from the listeners. Did you send in a question? Uh, I might have. I don't think you did. <laughs> wait till you hear it. Speaking of their Q and A and SCC pod, their hundredth episode is coming up soon, and over at the forums, they've got a, a specific uh, form for what they should do for their their hundredth episode. Everybody needs to jump over there if you're a, a listener of STC Pod and you enjoy them, and give them a comment uh, or even just a you know a, a good job and tell them what what you would like to hear for their hundredth episode. I don't I don't remember who who said it, but somebody said either a twenty four or 12, twelve hour marathon, and I thought that was a great idea. That is a great idea. <laughs> you can tune in all day, you know, yep. whenever you can. Check it out whenever. That would be awesome. Yeah. They could do twelve hours each. I like it. I like it. Or, yeah, have an overlap, maybe. Do it 20 hours and have a four-hour overlap. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds good. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'd also like to know where Joe is getting his extra money. Oh, boy, straight up. So that's it, Joe. We're calling you out. Uh, we sort of uh, hinted at it, and by hinted at it, I mean we asked you straight up last week. This week, I'm calling you out. <laughs> it wasn't even a hint. Where's that extra money coming from? Yeah. Uh, in the Q-Dog host this week, both Mr. And uh, Mrs. Q Dog were rocking the new Cartridge Club T-shirts, which I'm also wearing. <sighs> yeah, apparently, um, it hopefully is in my, my mailbox. I think today. yours is probably with Musty's. It, Musty Hobbs. He doesn't is, have his still. His is in Michigan. Oh man, yeah. still. Musty lives in England. I've been watching his updates. <laughs> 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 yeah, um, but I, I checked it yesterday. It wasn't there. I haven't checked it today though. Yeah, but yeah. So uh, what else we got? Uh, so the August, uh, sorry, the July poll was your what's your favorite Zelda game? It was yep. during the Majora's Mask month, and the winner was Ocarina of Time, followed very very closely by A Link to the Past mm -hmm. and Link's Awakening. So this month, that's probably my top three. I mean, right. my number one one. Yeah. You know what? I I could even say that that's my top three right there in a row. Really? It, not A Link Between Worlds. I like A Link Between Worlds, but not as much as a Link to the Past. Uh, no, I mean, I have a Link's Awakening. Come on. I'm Link's Awakening. I've never played it. You were in for a treat, my friend. Well, I'm going to have to get it. Yeah. And then motivate myself to play it. How could I possibly do that? <laughs> so this month, we're voting on your favorite indie platformer. Um, is it platformer or just indie game? I think it's just platformers. It says platformer. So favorite indie platformers. So check that out over at www.charactersclub.org. Uh, vote for your favorite one. Pro tip, the answer is Shovel Knight. We've already been playing the best one. Uh, form news. We've got a new Pokemon Go thread that Dean set up. Dean Lasagna is a, a Pokemon Go player. He wanted to see how many clubbers were, were playing it. Uh, right now, there is a lot of activity on there. A lot of people saying that they're for Team Valor, and a lot of other people ashamedly admitting that they're not. Um, Instinct so, is the best team, man. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but I wonder how many people are still playing now that... It, the trackers program. So what we'll do, instead of talking about who's number one right now and who's got the top uh, Pokemon caught versus seen and stuff, I'm going to wait till next week. So if you are playing Pokemon Go still, jump over there, update that so Dean can get that up for us, and we'll uh, we'll talk about it next week, maybe in our rant or something. Okay. And as well, uh, Lo is doing a uh, sort of the thread for New York Comic Con. She wants to know what club members are going, who wants to hang out. That'd be pretty fun. Yeah, I'm not going because I can't. Pretty and... As well, we got an Xbox Live game recommendations thread from Vintage. He recently got an Xbox 360 hey. and shelled out the uh, $13 a month or whatever it is, $6 a month for Xbox Live, which is a big deal for him. So it let is. him know some free games he can get from there because chances are he's not going to want to pay for them. <laughs> Just kidding, Vintage. Love you. <laughs> you're, you're not kidding. I'm not kidding. <laughs> he admits it. <laughs> and uh, I want free. I, I only get, like, that's why I don't have Live or even PS Plus. I just, I don't know. Shouldn't have to pay for online. Agreed. Although, the Xbox Live online setup is quite robust, and I attribute that to the fact that you have to pay for it. That makes sense. That makes sense. All I know is No Man's Sky, I don't have to pay for it, so... Well, that's good. Uh, you only have to pay for the game. It's not going to ever release, is it? It's coming out next, next week. Oh, is it? Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's already out. Somebody already beat it. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. You couldn't beat Somebody, it. I thought it was like a million it years. It was like six, 60 hours or something, but he was alone. Like There was nothing standing in his way. He's the only guy. So he owns every planet now. No, no, no. Okay, they released a number. It's like 146 quintillion planets or something like that. If so how did he beat it? I thought, there, I thought it was just an exploration game. The whole game is to get to the center of the Earth, or sorry, center of the universe, is the ultimate goal. And you have to upgrade your ship and stuff to get there. Or you can also go and explore and, and discover planets. So every planet that he discovered is now his and nobody else can get it? 
Well, anybody can go to it, but it's named after whatever planet he visited. But that's bullshit. So this guy got it a week he, early? It leaked. It, it wasn't supposed to. He paid $1,300 Why wasn't this it? in our news section? Oh, oops. <laughs> so this guy has already named a bunch of planets. I'm assuming. I would. Did he name them horrible, disgusting things? I don't know. Because I certainly would. <laughs> I don't know what he named them. Like, shit delay. But cartridgeclub.org will be named after a lot of planets. Perfect. <laughs> well, well get it. maybe not if he's out there naming planets right now. Yeah. I would not sleep. I would spend every waking hour. Hour, naming every planet so when that game launched everybody who played it was like what the fuck so that, that's what they were talking about you would have if you went to every planet for one second which you couldn't it would take you like 236 billion years I would just circle the center of the planet because everybody's going to the center yeah nobody's going to the fringes but it's expanding so circle the center. it's constantly expanding well that's even better as you circle it then it expands out no but then the new planet the planets that are closest to the center will now be like wait like it, it, yeah but it just expands. keep it, just keep circling the center and letting it expand I don't think that's how it works. And then you'll have waves. But I don't know. We have waves of douche canoe going out for the names of the planet. That's what you're going to name play with? Yeah, douche canoe and shit waffle. That'd be the two. <laughs> Those are my two. Anyway, cartridgeclub.org. We're going to get a group together. We're all going to play. We're all going to name. I mean, I'm going to name it. Cartridgeclub.org. I don't know why everybody else is going to name it, but it's going to be fun. I can't wait. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's the NSCC update.